everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. In the last episode, we navigated from one activity to the next. Um, we basically hooked on to this uh, button click, and when we detect that a click has been uh, fired, we actually navigate to a new activity. Uh, we learned a little bit about the Android manifest, and we learned about what happens if you actually don't add an activity to your manifest uh, and try to navigate to it. Um, if you missed that, go ahead and check out the last video. But uh, today we're going to kind of build off of this idea and now pass information between, you know, from activity um, to activity, right? So let's say, um, let's say we wanted to, you know, pass the title of basically this little card view here, this little like, um, you know, segment in the UI. We wanted to notify the uh, second activity of like which title was clicked when they clicked uh, or what the title was clicked, what the title was when they clicked this learn more button. Um, you know, in the future, we will dive into a bit more of a uh, like meaningful information that we can pass and uh, talk about how we can even pass entire objects from one screen to the next, uh, which would, uh, you know, just provide a lot more data, have uh, a whole lot more helpful information so that you can kind of provide that, uh, you know, list view to detail view um, navigation pattern that is so, so, so common in uh, basically all apps on the planet. And the most obvious example of that is the, uh, the messaging app, right? If you imagine when you open it, you have a list view of all your uh, conversations. And then when you actually click on a particular conversation, like let's say with your mom, uh, you know, you then go to a new activity, you go to a new screen, and there is, you know, maybe some unique identifier that's passed to that new screen that then, you know, fetches the entire conversation that you've had with that person, you know, from, from a remote server or something like that. So uh, we will get into all of that stuff in the future. Um, it's definitely a lot less scary than it sounds. Um, and I will take you through, you know, every little piece of it um, to do something like that. So, um, you know, stick around. That's definitely stuff for a little bit of a later season. Uh, but, uh, you know, we will, we will most definitely get there. So, um, the intent class is how you navigate from one activity to the next. Uh, here is a super simple, um, you know, syntax, uh, two lines of code to actually move you from one activity to the next. Uh, and if you actually just copy this and put it here, uh, now there's literally just one line of code to move you uh, from, you know, from screen to screen. But we're going to leave it uh, separated like this because of this next um, uh, snippet that we're going to do, right? So I said that we wanted to take the title that existed here uh, and pass it to the next screen. So let's go ahead and actually just grab that UI element. Uh, again, title, text view. Um, Text view equals find view by ID title text view. So when they click the button, our title is going to be title text view dot text. And then in our intent, we can actually uh, call a function called put extra. And now here, this is basically going to work like a map. We're going to have to pass in a key uh, for this information. So let's call it title. And then um, the value for that, which is going to be title. So this means that when we actually navigate from uh, to, to this screen, we actually will have a way to get this information that we've passed from one activity uh, into the next one. And so I first want to... Uh, hit a breakpoint and uh, just talk about uh, what we see there. So uh, this the the solid bug, not the bug with the arrow, um, is basically the run function or functionality of the IDE, but runs with the ID uh, with the debugger attached. Um, so this will absolutely like kill the app that's running, rerun it, and attach the debugger to it. Whereas this will just actually attach a debugger to a running process that does not already have a debugger attached to it. So if we click it, we're going to land here in the onCreate function. Um, saved instance data, I wouldn't worry about that for now. But what I do want to show you, 
set forth arguments. It's not called bundle. Yeah. It's actually just called intent. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Which um, uh, is the intent? You know, intent is actually referencing the function get intent, uh, and in this case, it's getting the intent that in that created this activity. Um, and we know that one from here has uh, has this extra piece of information. So if we actually take a peek at all these fields in here, there's one that's called m extras. Um, and that is where, you know, put extra, that is where we're going to have this information. So, um, uh, Okay, um, apologize for that. Uh, I guess the reason that I'm kind of stumbling over this is it's been a very long time since I've actually done the activity to activity transition. Um, there's a, a, a newer, uh, I guess maybe, uh, I don't know, just a different pattern uh, that Google's been pushing a lot that's called the single activity architecture um, and actually works tremendously off of fragments. So <laughs> passing information from fragment to fragment slightly differs from uh, passing information from activity to activity, uh, but I want to start with activities because they are, you know, the bread and butter of uh, the Android application. They are, you know, kind of uh, the, the the most important pieces to understand at the moment, uh, and then we will get into reusability and fragments down the line. So um, I thought you were able to get a particular bundle and take a look at it from there, uh, but instead, uh, it, it just actually seems that the intent get string extra passing in the uh, key that we used here um, will actually have the information you're looking for, right? So if we end up trying to say uh, get string extra subtitle, no, because that doesn't exist, right? We didn't put that in the intent, um, so it, it's just not there. This put extra and get extra really just works off of um, the idea of, you can think about it like a map, a hash map or something like that, um, where you know it's a mapping of keyed value pairs. If a key exists um, in the map, it'll return its value, uh, and if it doesn't exist, then it'll just actually return null. So uh, we can uh, run this now and uh, actually fetch that information. So uh, the title, let's say, from other activity equals um, uh, intent get string extra title okay I will return to this in a minute um, I just want to uh, uh, text view just do something real quick um, We're just going to go ahead and grab our just going to go ahead and grab our um, UI element, and then we're going to say text view dot text equals title from other activity. Uh, let's not worry about this for now. But if we go ahead and run it now, um, instead of seeing What's going on here? Instead of seeing detail activity, um, we now see the title that came from this previous activity, um, which is from here. Okay? So, like I said, um, when we were looking for subtitle, it didn't exist in the map. So it actually returned null. And uh, what 
what I want to show you here is what we call the Elvis operator. So in Kotlin, um, it's kind of a really simple way to check for nullability. So in this case, uh, we're still passing in only the title in the uh, extra between the intents, and we're looking for something that doesn't exist in that uh, intent. So we are most definitely, when we evaluate this, when, when the system evaluates this code, it's going to return null. And so that this Elvis operator at the end says, if this field or if, if this resolves to null, use this. So in in uh, Java, you would do something, you know, like uh, variable equals something or null. And then you would say, you know, let's make this a variable. You would say, you know, if variable is null, um, variable equals, you know, it was null or whatever the case is, right? So you would actually um, have to kind of, you know, this syntax here, this check here is just simplified into this um, uh, in Kotlin, which is super nice um, because actually you could even continue doing this. Uh, it, it, it's graying out here because we're setting it to something that's not null, but for instance, if you had, um, you know, uh, something like that where it, it'll evaluate this expression if it's null it'll evaluate this expression if it's null it'll evaluate this expression which in this case is is not null um, so you can chain those together and uh, kind of create like a, a an if else kind of thing um, or at least like a fallback methodology uh, to your to your code um, you know, via what they call Elvis operators. And it's kind of cool if you tilt your head uh, to the left, you can actually see why they call it an Elvis operator. Uh, it looks like eyes in his hair. Uh, so it's it's kind of cool. Um, so, okay, we are now looking for subtitle in the intent, which we're only passing in title. So when we go here, it, oh, of course, I spelled it wrong. Uh, but uh, point being that this uh, evaluated to null, so we invoked the Elvis operator, and then uh, we, uh, you know, set it to this as like a default or like a, a you know, a, a backup case. Um, so you know, it, this is super helpful to the Elvis operator, or, or just these nullability checks are super helpful so that your application does not crash uh, in at, at runtime, or you know, this screen would be completely blank if we set the text view. The text use text to null, it would just be a completely blank screen. So at least in this case, you know, it's kind of a little bit of error handling um, and whatnot. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, sorry, I got a little tripped up here on the get string extra and, and intent. You know, I was looking for a bundle or arguments and uh, it's just my mind's in a different place uh, from going back to, to um, you know, uh, uh, square zero. So um, I apologize for that, but uh, you can put in, you know, a handful of these things. Um, you can, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so you can put in um, the name, or the key has to be a string, but then the value itself can be these different types, right? So you can put in an integer, you could put in a Boolean, uh, a double, uh, it looks like even an array, um, and uh, uh, essentially an entire bundle, which can just bundle more things inside of it. Um, but so there's only really one function to call when you're putting something in the bundle, uh, or, or sorry, inside the intent, but when you're fetching it and getting it out, um, you realize we, I called get string extra because I knew that I put in a string. But uh, for instance, you can see get, okay. Uh, you see all the different functions here for pulling it out. Uh, of the intent, you know, get boolean extra, get double extra, uh, it's probably get, uh, string array extra, let's see, yeah, it has all of them as arrays, um, so just something to note that there needs to be a little bit of understanding from, like, the destination, uh, of, like, what type of information you're passing to it and what the key is, and, um, 
you know that that doesn't have to be so much set up in at this point because it'll just accept anything that you put in you put in here whether it's a string an integer a boolean etc um, uh, yeah so in this case it's pretty simple it's pretty obvious what you need um, and and the information obviously is a string but you know as a project gets more complex or other people start working on things and then you need to fetch it you know from the uh, from the intent um, you know you just need that communication and so um, you know even if this one here says title, but if for some reason uh, we went like this um, and we're looking for title with a capital T, uh, it also is not going to find it. Um, so, you know, it's it's a little scary at times to be hard coding these strings in there. You know, you can put it in like a constant value and then reference that constant value here and here so that if you ever change it, um, like it doesn't break your code. Uh, you know, but but we'll dive into that in a little bit, uh, or or kind of talk about that at greater lengths uh, as we start building a little bit more complex things. But for now, all that you need to know is very easy, very simple to put something in the intent. This is essentially add some information onto it, and then in your destination, uh, actually fetch that information from uh, the intent and and use it in the new screen. So uh, appreciate. Um, you guys tuning in uh thanks for watching in the next episode we are actually going to dive into the recycler view which is by far the uh the most powerful the most uh, uh interesting you know ui element uh in the android system in the framework and there's really just a tremendous amount that you can do uh as far as building uis and and complex things there so um we will take it slow but we will get this to become a scrolling list of these views here. Uh, so stay tuned. This should be, uh, uh, this is going to be very important for just your, your general growth. So I'll see you there.